Hello, teacher. Hi, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you see me? Okay, great. I haven't checked your homework yet. I will check it out later. Okay, and make some comments for your homework. Okay, do you have a story for me? Something exciting, something new, something terrible, something bad? Mm, today, mm -hmm. I uh, have... I had? I, uh, today, I had a uh, exam. Exam. On which subject? Um, English. Math. math. And then? English. History. Geography. Oh, that's quite a lot. How did it go? It's quite hard. Oh, it is. So it's it was a whole day exam. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what do you think? <laughs> Did you pass the exam? Oh, good job. When will the result come out? Comes out. Mm. So you mean you don't know the result yet? You're waiting, waiting. Are you going to have an exam tomorrow? Yes. Oh, did you review? Did you review your lessons? Yes. yes. Are you going to review more after the class? Okay. What time did you go to bed yesterday? Uh, 9.30. Okay, so that's quite early. I thought you have to review a lot for the exam. Okay. <laughs> so let's begin. We're going to uh, talk about what we have left last Tuesday. It's about speaking, okay? Still about movies. And let's have a quick review. Example, let's talk about Harry Potter. Can you name some casts from the movie Harry Potter? Yes. Emma Watson. Okay. Robert. Uh huh. <laughs> Do you know their real names? Not all. Uh huh. It's okay. But I just want to know if you remember what cast is. And you're right. Emma is one of the cast. Next. What was Emma Watson's character in the movie? Uh, Hermione. Yes, she is Hermione. And what kind of character was it? Um, she is what in the movie? Uh -huh. She's, I think she is friends with Harry. Am I right? Uh -huh. And she has also magic. She's got magic too. Okay, that is her character. Next, director. Do you want me to explain what a director is? Or you still um, remember? Can you make it simple or tell me what 
directors do? Like, yes, give an example. Uh, people in that uh, who sitting at and not in the movie sound like uh, at cut. Yes, good job. We can't see him in the movie. He works behind the scenes. Okay, next, movie star. So when we say star, he or she must be very popular. Okay, and plot, series of events. How the movie started, how the action started, the best part of the movie and then how it ends that's the plot okay now let's talk about your favorite movie or film so we have a pattern here we can use this pattern and Talk about your favorite movie, okay? First, what's your favorite movie and its genre? My favorite movie is Tom and Terry. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an uh, animation. It's an animation movie. And anything else? Aside from uh, animation. Is from America. Oh, wait. If it's funny, it's funny, right? The movie is funny. If it's funny, what kind of genre or what genre is it? Uh, so it's animation. Aside it's funny. Uh, this film for children. Yes, it's for children and it's comedy. Comedy. Remember that, okay? If it's funny, it makes you laugh. It's comedy film. Okay. Next, you can choose any of them uh, if you know the answer, okay? Telling the plot of a film, okay. You can skip it if you don't know the answer. It's set in. Um, it's set in. Mm -hmm. Tell me where, uh, where do they usually stay? Tom and Jerry, where do they usually stay in the movie? The movie will stay in. Uh -huh. I don't know what. Isn't it? It's in someone's house. It's in the movie theater or in the house. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's set in. A uh, family house, okay. And I think this one's not applicable because it's an, it's an animation, okay. We can skip on this one, okay. Next, who are the characters in the movie? Tom and Terry. Yes, do you know more aside from them? Uh... <laughs> okay. Aside from Tom and Jerry, have you watched another movie? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is it? A dog. What is, what's the title of the movie? A dog. Uh, 
um, have a cat named Tom and have a mouse called Terry. Tom like chasing uh Tom like chasing Terry. Terry is brave and clever. Which one is Tom? Which one's Jerry? Tom is a cat. Oh, okay. And Jerry must be the mouse, okay. And okay, next. What do you feel or what do you think about the film? It's funny and make me laugh. And it makes you laugh, okay. Next. What do you think about the characters? So it's not actors or actress because it's animation. What do you think about the characters? Character funny. Mm -hmm. What else? Aside from funny. Uh-huh. What things do they do? Can you describe what they what they do? Um, I think they do silly things. Silly things. Okay. Silly means they're not thinking much of it. Just making fun. And that what that's what makes them funny. Silly. Mm -hmm. Like they always fight and they hide from one another and someone gets hurt and that's so silly. Okay. Next, special effects. Do you know what special effects are? No. I think this is, this is like an animation. It's already an anime. They're not real people, right? They're not real. What can you say about it? Does it look... Here are examples. Fantastic or terrible. It looks bad. Or do they look realistic? Mm -hmm. uh, fantastic and fun. Uh -huh. Happy. Okay, so I think we cannot really describe Tom and Jerry because we just know about Tom and Jerry, okay? And it's already in animation. Maybe later we'll talk about more movies that you have seen, okay? Next, what is the best scene in the movie? Or maybe your favorite part, favorite part in the movie? Mm. Like a part, Tom chasing a mouse. Uh huh. I think that's what happened all the time. Can you select or pick one, and then tell me the story? What just happened? Mm. Uh. Why is Tom chasing Jerry one day? Uh, because Jerry plays tricks on Tom and Tom, Tom acts so angry and chasing him. Oh, so maybe he's like a brother who always teases you. And wants to make you angry. And Jerry wants Tom to get angry. Is that what you mean? And then what happened next? What do you think that is the best scene or best part? Your favorite part? What makes it funny? I don't remember. Oh, okay. Okay. Do you think Tom and Jerry is quite... Mm, what do you call that one? Is quite... 
It, do you think Tom and Jerry is good for kids? Uh, uh, do you think Tom and Jerry is good for kids younger than you? Like for five mm -hmm. years old, six years old? What do you think? I see on the TV, they say Tom and Jerry is not good. Oh, I what do you think they... <laughs> What do you think they think that it's not good? Because when we watch half a uh, half many picture, like uh, make make children scary. Oh, and one more thing is violence. They always fight. Is fighting good for kids? No, not really. Okay. So if you will suggest a movie, what would you, what would you suggest for kids? For kids. Mm -hmm. Movie for kids that they can safely watch. What kind of genre, maybe? Which genre is suitable for kids? They can watch it safely. Action, fantasy, family. Uh -huh. What else? Uh, family. Okay, family. Okay. And always watch with our parents. Okay. Next. So I think we cannot tell about the plot of Tom and Jerry because I think it comes in series. It has several series, not just for one hour or two, right? It's long. Okay. Next, let's go to the prompt card, okay, making questions. So look at, I will introduce the first prompt card, okay, and later we will make some questions. Come and see the art show. Okay. The pictures that are going to be featured in the art show are pictures by David Piper. And in the art show, we can meet the artist and buy a painting for your home. You can visit the art show from 6 to 8 p.m. every evening. Okay. For tickets, it's four pounds for adults and two pounds for students. You can visit as us at 28 Market Street. Okay. In this part, dear, uh huh. Instead of making just one question for each part, I want you to make two questions for each. Okay? I will give you time to prepare. Make two questions for each. Are we clear? Two questions. It's like mm -hmm. example. I will give you an example. Where must be this must be the answer, right? Where? So my question is, where does the art show take place? Where does the art show take place another question what's the address of the art 
gallery. What's the address of the art gallery? Do you see? Two questions, one answer. 28 Market Street. These are just clues. You can use your own words. Okay? Mm -hmm. And what time is it? It's 9.20. I will give you about five minutes, maybe, to write your questions. Two each, okay? Okay, you may start. I will write my example so you can see. <laughs> Are you thinking? Okay. <laughs> Please make questions in full sentence, full thought, okay? Teacher, what's and for uh, when? Uh, what is it? What is it? What's answer of Oh, when? when is 6 to 8 p.m.? 6 to 8 p.m. You can make questions based on 6 to 8 p.m. You can choose, you can do whether you want to use when or another word, okay? It doesn't matter. You can use your own. Okay, here's my example. Two questions, one answer. Let me match it for you. I didn't say, where is it? I said, where does the art show take place? It's in full thought. Look for synonyms, dear, so you can make questions twice.
Here's an example. Show, gallery, exhibit. The same. We are synonymous. You can ask anytime if you need help. I don't know how to. I don't know a fashion ticket. Tickets. So this is the answer. If this is the answer, let's see. Four pounds and two pounds. What are those? Those are price. Now ask about the price. Or when you want to know the price, maybe you can also say how much. Those are two already. How much? Next is, ask about the price. Think of a word that has the same meaning as price. Price or cost. Ooh, price or cost. The same. Make a question on each word. Next, for buy. Which word has the same meaning? Or think of a word that has the same meaning as buy. Maybe not synonymous, but could be have common, common meaning. It could also be. Whenever you're ready. I don't know how to push. Which one? The ticket? No. Buy picture? Mm -hmm. Picture or painting? It says here. The answer is you can buy a painting. You can buy a painting. Which word is that? Now make that, turn it into a question. 
The answer is you can buy a painting or a picture. You can buy a picture. Can you make it into a question, dear? What will you say? I can. Can I? What? Sorry, sorry, louder. I can make one question. Okay, okay. It's okay. Are you done? Yes. Okay, let's go to when. What time do we see a picture? Okay, what time do we see the pictures? Could be, or maybe what time does the show start? Okay, what time does the show start? What time? Very good. Instead of when. Another way to ask? Uh, when is when is it? When uh, is it? Uh -huh. Can you make it into a full thought question? Mm -hmm. When is change it into your subject? When, when is, is the the ask Oh, show. Remember, okay? Make a question in full thought. Okay. Next. Very good. You see, you can ask two questions in one answer. Number three. Whose picture is it? Whose pictures? Where? Which pictures are you talking about? Where? Pictures where? Answer in full thought. Make a question in full thought, dear. Whose pictures? Mm -hmm. Whose pictures? Mm -hmm. I'll give you a clue. Can. Whose pictures? Whose pictures can be seen in the where? The action. Art show. Remember, okay? Make questions in full thought. Okay. Another way to ask, please. Who draw a picture? Who draw the pictures? Very good. Yes. <laughs> Next. Um, how much the picture? Uh huh. How much does? Don't forget does, the does the picture does each picture, picture. cost? Okay. How much does each picture cost? Okay, so we, the question has all the details. What are you asking about? It's about the picture. What else? How much the cost is? Okay, how much does each picture cost? Next. How much does it cost? Yes. Okay, I think that's what I'm going to say. Okay, <laughs> we had the same idea. Okay, another way is, can I buy a picture from the gallery? Okay, can I buy a picture from the gallery or a painting from the art show? So it's not just a show, we can also buy. Okay, very good, Lynn. Now remember, when you make questions, 
we can create several questions with just one answer okay how by using synonyms so we can change each words into another question okay do you have any questions mm -hmm. okay i asked you to make two questions because it says what are other questions and answers you can think of okay next in this one you will introduce it look let me show you oh you see that one so we can start by introducing it first okay so uh-huh would you like to introduce the film club go city university film club every monday six to nine thirty p.m films from america australia and britain get your tickets from the student office others three pounds student one fifty pounds cafe open cafe open for drinks and snacks okay thank you now let's make another set of question impromptu as in now okay so look at the first one this is the answer can you make a question and this is the answer Often the film club. Oh, worry, please say it again. How often the film club does does the film club does the film club open open okay <laughs> next make a question about the this. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't hear or, you. Do. What pounds for elders is Oh, how much? How much? You can forget about this, dear, so you won't get confused. How much? How much? Rice. Mm -hmm. How much means? Uh huh. They can't be together. How much and price? Maybe how much and cost? They are pair. And on the other side, what and price? Those are the pairs. So go back to the first pair. How much and cost? Put them together. How much? How much cost does? How much does the cost? Does each ticket cost? Okay. How about? Uh huh. Let's write that one. Okay. How much does each ticket cost? Pay attention to, okay, I'll make another one, okay. How much do tickets cost? What's the difference? What's the difference? Mm -hmm. uh, how much does each ticket cost like each ticket cost. Uh -huh. Just for one. Yes. How about the second one? It's for a lot. Okay. Remember, when you want to ask for each one, use does. 
and without s does each ticket cost and without s cost does cost do for many do the tickets cost okay next where were we how about you want to use the word price what and price pair them together what what's the price of of each each ticket okay that's it next Mm, let me erase those ones. This is the answer. Get your tickets from the student office. What? Who? Mm -hmm. Oh, I did hear it. Did you say something? Sorry. Where? Where? Can we give our ticket? Get? You mean get? Did you say get? Yeah. Can we get our ticket? Yes! Where can we get the tickets? Or where can we buy? Could be. Because they are for sale, right? Where can we get? Where can we buy the same in this manner? Okay. Next, mm -hmm. the answer is films from America, Australia, and Britain. Are they have? Are they have America films? Are there American films? Are there American films in the film club? Or, if you want to use have, do they have? Do they have? Okay. Next, you want to know if there are French films featured or to be watched in the film club. What do you ask? French books. Mm -hmm. Do we have French films in the film club? Yes, very good. Phil, full thought question. Okay, next, cafe. Cafe open for drinks and snacks. Rain. Mm -hmm. Rain. Louder. Louder. Do they have? Have. Do they have a cafe? Oh, you mean in the film club? Yeah. Yes, that could be. Do they have a cafe? Or maybe is there, is there a cafe nearby? Okay, very good. <laughs> okay, and I will give this one as your homework, okay? There you go. Mm -hmm. You have to introduce it. Aside from reading the details, uh -huh. introduce the film club based on the given information and talk about the film club. And let's have a quick review. We learned how to talk about your favorite film. You can talk about where it sets, who are the main characters, what do you feel or think 
about what you've seen in the movie and did you like it and what is the best part or scene that you like best and how to make questions in different ways we can remember we can make several questions in just one answer okay just look for the synonyms or of each word okay do you have any questions about the lesson lynn no oh, i don't okay so i you you will have another homework for speaking so please make a recording while you introduce the film club i will send the screenshot of the prompt card so you can prepare your answer okay that would be all dear and thank you so much for doing your homework have a good night bye bye, bye. <laughs>